hi everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful tote bag yeah it's very beautiful and very easy to make um, for you to know how i achieved this design in front you have to make sure you watch this video to the very end give this video a thumbs up and also comment in the comment section below and um, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel I would advise that you do that <laughs> and subscribe to this channel also share this video so let's get started with the video so we're going to start by prepping our match and if you are new to my channel you don't know anything about screen printing I have a lot of videos on screen printing on the channel just check through I'm also going to drop the link in the description box below you can also check and learn this I have step by step guide the list of the material everything so you'll be able to understand this video and this uh, part that I'm doing I'm just putting my match in the dark place and that is why the video is like this okay so just go ahead and do that check the video first before coming back to watch this video <laughs> all right After coating my match and uh, my match is dry, I'll just go ahead and place my registration points on my match. Because I'm using two colors, it is important for me to determine my registration points. There are different methods of doing this and this is my own method of doing it. So that's what I'm doing and uh, because my match is very big, I'll just use one match for the two designs, for the two colors. Okay. Just going ahead and do that. After I've determined my registration points, I just place my hard work on my match and I just pour a resin on it. You can also use cooking oil, some people prefer that. But the two, there's no the two are good. You can use any of the two. You can use cooking oil or you can use um kerosene, you achieve the same thing. So for today I waited for five minutes and my hard work came out this way. It's so fine and sharp. And uh, I just went ahead to use dry clothes to part the surface please this is important so the uh, emotion will not block the surface of um, your artwork so and uh, i'm going to drop all the measurements in the description box below these are the measurements for the bag i have the body the side panel the handles and also the zipper panel okay so after that i will just go ahead and screen print on my the pockets because the pocket is going to be in front of the bag so i'm going to be putting the design in front of the bag okay which will be the pocket so i'm just trying to place the pockets uh, where the registration points are on my plank and i'll just print the false color and the truth is before i wanted to do just screen printing as a design on the bag but because of the way it came out i didn't like it i wanted to use green color before but uh, green color did not uh, did not come out well on the blue so i didn't like the outcome i didn't like the way it is it came out so that's why i changed the color and after changing the color i didn't like the way it came out <laughs> So that's why I just decided to beat it and I love 
I put pearls and I love the way it is. Please, if you are using taffeta, I'm using taffeta material and you are using water base, I would advise that you put a lot of ink on it. See the way it is, it's not bright at all. The color did not really come out. So that's why I changed my mind and I'm using pink. So as I've said, please put a lot of ink, leave ink on the surface of the artwork so that it will come out well. Mm -hmm. It will come out very well. So this is how it comes out. And I'm just going to go ahead and print the second color. I want the second color to pop out very well so I'm going to go ahead and use a red color for it and um, I'm going to make sure I flood it very well see what the flooding I'm talking about you understand it here okay so just watch it leaving ink on the surface of uh, your heart work see just don't don't wipe it don't wipe it finish you see you see the way that I left ink on it so it will come out on this taffeta. This taffeta usually sink ink in. See the way the pink and the, the green looks like. I did not like it at all. So that's why I just decided to put pearls on it. And I love the outcome. It looks so beautiful and unique. The gum I'm using is um, glue gum. Yeah, it's, you have to connect it to to electricity before i need to start dispensing the gum yeah so that's what i'm using the gum is very good you can also use any other fabric gum that you know is strong enough to hold the pearls you can use pearls and you can also use bead for this method you can also use um uh stones depending on what you shall want <laughs> this and this makes it very easy because i already have um the design um printed out so it's more easy it's just for me to just trace it out and just place my pearls on it the way it is so it's more easier so you want to do something like this you either use vinyl or you use this method so you'll be able to place your design and your hand will be very straight on it so just went ahead to just you know create this beautiful i love the, the outcome of the bag so I have the pearls at home and uh, the wine color and the off-white. So if you don't have pearls, you can also use bead or anything that you want to create. So let's talk about business, tote bag business. I know I've talked about uh, tote bag before on this channel and I've made, um, I think, some tote bag here too. So this is another idea that you can uh, follow, not only printing or using vinyl or anything, you can also bid it. You know, this one will even be more expensive, right? <laughs> so this is just all about creativity and even the design that I made, I just created it myself. You know, when you look at styles, even of clothes, it's somebody that, that uh, came about it and a lot of people follow suit. So. When you come to back to you can also be creative you can decide to put your own pocket in front at the back by the side anywhere just you know just put some touches and make make sure it's unique you get it that makes it your own brand and that makes it your uniqueness you understand so if you are starting a tote bag business you need to be creative and you don't even need to know how to sew i've said it before on this channel you don't need to know how to sew it's just for you to have the idea and know the business you want to go for and this is the kind of business that you can start with a little money as low as 15,000, 20,000 naira, and you start making your money you just first carry your own um, bag carry your own product and you will see how people will admire and they want to get it from you too some of you, you have whatsapp group and nothing you've never posted anything 
that relate to your work on your whatsapp and you say you are doing something ah <laughs> please start it post it on your whatsapp status let them see that you are doing something you will see that somebody somewhere will want what you are doing some of you are on facebook you don't you never posted what you are doing start it now post it put what post what you are doing there tell people what you are doing some of you are even doing some things you are not confident enough to wear what you are what you are making some of you are making caps fascinators and you've never made for yourself this is how i sell my things wear my products and people ask where, where did you who made it for you and confidently telling them that i made it i can make it for you too you know that is how you can sell nobody can ever sell your own product the way you will sell it so where where what you are doing don't some of you will only be posting uh, songs and every other person's uh, video you never posted your own hmm? yes it's good to share when you get knowledge from somewhere you share it also share what you are also doing sell your products you just make some things post it get a good um, picture you don't need to have expensive phone before you can do that snap picture remove the background of it and make it a little bit beautiful and post it post it on your whatsapp status post it on your facebook story post it frequently let it be something you do frequently then you will see that um, there will be change people will ask for it what you are doing And this is how it's looking right now okay so it's time to stitch it together to join them together so i'm just starting off with the pockets and i'm going to place it on the, the main body so i'm just going to add also to stitch the handle together and uh, place it on the main body um, you can also choose this design or you choose any other design that you want it's very simple the main body is um, is long and it's just one piece and the main body has the side panels so i just joined the side panels and also uh, the zipper has um, panels too and um, there's pockets it's basically not something difficult to make if you know how to sew so if you don't know how to sew you can always um craft out something or be creative about it and tell someone to to sew for you okay so i'm just going ahead to stitch the pockets on the main body The handle of this bag is a little bit long it's about 36 inches and i made it like that because i want something durable and um, something that will be able to carry a lot of things so you can make it like that too or make a shorter handle
and after joining the side panel the zipper panel everything all together this is what we have i'm just going to turn it inside out and you'll see how beautiful it is and there this is it i love this bag so much it's so spacious and i love the customization see how the teaching skill the teaching skill and the youtube logo is screen printing yeah so it's just the other damn this tv and you you can monetize that is beaded the down part is i put stone see how beautiful it's looking so cute see the pockets <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video to this very point i'm sure you've learned something here yeah so make sure you keep on creating something making money <laughs> and imparting lives okay i'll see you in my next video if you are still yet to give this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up before you leave <laughs> and also comment in the comment section below i also appreciate if you can share the video Bye. I'll see you in my next one.